Good morning, my children, and welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. For today, my children, we're going to make an activity, an exercise that is going to work for us to review previous vocabulary. Now, the exercise of today is similar to the one that we already did on Friday. So, there is not, there will be no difficulty. The only thing that the teacher wants for you is you concentrate and you pay attention. So, remember, you have, if you want to work along with the teacher Jacob, you have five seconds to pick up your book and your pencil case. Para el día de hoy, chicos, vamos a hacer un ejercicio similar al que realizamos el día viernes. Ahora, en este ejercicio, recuerden, nos va a ayudar a repasar el vocabulario que hemos estado practicando desde que entramos al ciclo de preprimaria. Por lo tanto, es muy importante. Así es que, si ustedes quieren trabajar junto con el teachercito Jacob, ya saben las instrucciones, tienen 5 segundos para ir por su libro de actividades y su estuchera. One, two, three, four, five. Let's begin. Once again, the activity of today is located on page 122. One, two, two. For this activity, my children, on the top of the page, we have the words in order. We have words like comb, pen, paper, crayon, desk, spoon, ball, car, truck, and dress. All of these words that appear inside the rectangles are in order. Now, under, en la parte de abajo, we have the words, but they are in disorder. By looking at the letters, we have to see, okay, which letters appear on the rectangles so we can accommodate it. En la parte de arriba, en cada uno de los rectángulos, tenemos las palabras ordenadas en orden, las palabras de, que pertenecen a este repaso. En la parte de abajo tenemos las mismas palabras, pero están en desorden. Lo que tenemos que ver es ver, es poner atención a cada una de las letras que conforman y buscarlas en los rectángulos. Una vez que ya identificamos la palabra, la anotamos en su forma correcta, en su forma en orden, y después vamos tachando. ¿Ok? Let's start. Number one has the following letters. R, A, C. Let's look for these letters. Right here, we have letter R, no letter R, so we skip it. Saltamos a la segunda, al segundo rectángulo. Here, no letter R, we skip it. Here, we have letter R, but in this rectangle, we have letter P. Here, no letter P, so we skip it. Here, we have letter R, but we have letter Y, and here at number one, no letter Y. So we continue our search. Here, we don't have letter R, right here, no letter R, right here, no letter R, here, letter R, we also have letter A, and letter C. So this is the correct order of the letters. And the word is car. That's number one. Car, of course, in Spanish, car. Once we write the letter, wrote the letter, we mark it with an X. We continue with number two. The, the letters are O and C and E. Let's look for the first rectangle, letter O, letter N, letter C, and letter E. So this is the correct order of the letters, and the word is cone. Cone in Spanish, cono. 
We mark it with an X. Number three, the letters R. S E R D S. Let's look for them. Here we have letter B. No, we don't have letter B, so we continue. Here we don't have letter S, so we skip it. Here we don't have letter S, we continue. Here we have letter S, like this. Letter E, okay. Letter R of robot. And here we don't have letter R. We continue. Letter S, okay. Letter P of pencil. And here at number three, we don't have letter P. So we continue. Here, letter S. And here we don't have it. We skip it. Here, letter S. We don't have it. We continue right here. Letter S. Letter E. Letter R of robot. Letter D of Diego. And another letter S. So this is the correct order of the letters. And the word is dress. Now remember, the dress belongs to the family of clothes, and it's wear by girls. Dress in Spanish, vestido. Once we locate it right here, we mark it with an X. We continue with number four, the letters R, R of robot, U, T, C, and K. Let's look for them. R. Here, no R. We skip it. Here, we have R. Well, we have letter P. On number four, no letter P. So, we skip it. Here, we have letter R. Okay? Letter U. We don't have letter U. We skip it. Here, no letter R. No hay letter R. Nos pasamos a la siguiente palabra. Here, no letter R, no. We continue. Here, no letter R, we continue. Here, letter R of robot. Letter U of umbrella. Letter T of tomato. Letter C of Camilla. And letter K of Karen. The word, the correct order of the letters, it's right here. And the word is truck. Truck belongs to the family of cars. Truck in Spanish, camionet. We will mark it with an X. We continue with number five. The letters are... E and P. E and P. It's right here. Very easy to locate it. The correct letter, the word is pen. We mark it with an X. Now remember, pen belongs to the school objects. In Spanish, pluma. We continue with number six. And the letters are N O R A C Y. We start with letter N right here. No letter N. We continue with the second rectangle. Letter N, okay. Letter O right here. Letter R of Rodrigo. Letter A of Alondra. Letter C of Carlos. Letter Y of yo-yo. The correct order of the letters is crayon. And crayon, once again, belongs to the family of school objects in Spanish, crayola. We mark it with the next. And we continue with number seven. For number seven, the letters are 
E, R, A, B, and P of pencil. Right here, we have letter E, letter R, letter A, letter P, and letter P. So this is the correct order of the letters, and the word is paper. We mark it with an X, paper in Spanish, papel. Number eight, the letters are L, A, B, L. Here, in this rectangle, we don't have letter L, we skip it. Here, no letter L, we continue right here. Letter L, letter A, letter B, letter L. The word is ball. We mark it with an X and the word ball, of course, pelota. Number nine, the letters are K, E, D, S. Right here, K of Carla, E of elephant, D of Diego, S of Samantha. And the correct order of the letters, the word is desk. Now, desk is similar to a table, but it's thicker. Es más amplio que una mesa, un escritorio. Okay, and finally, letter P, O, S, O, N. Here we have letter P, O, S, O, N. The correct order of the letters are spoon. Spoon in Spanish, cuchara. And once again, we have finished with the second review of previous vocabulary. So, that's it for today, my children. The teacher Jacob is very happy to see my beautiful students of Primary. We continue tomorrow with more information, more videos. Have an excellent day. Take care. Goodbye.